Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to cover the aggregate function. So the aggregate function splits the data into subsets, computes summary statistics for each, and then returns the result. Let's see how the aggregate function is different from the other functions we have used so far. For that, I'm going to call the ggplot2 because I want to use diamond data set from ggplot2. Let's call the data set. Let's see how it looks like. So it has multiple columns which stores data on carrot, cut, color and price and so on. So using the aggregate function, I can evaluate the average mean price for each cut type, ideal, premium, good. So let's see how. So I'm going to call aggregate. The first argument I want to, what I want to evaluate. Say I want to evaluate price till day cut. So how I'm going to do this. So the left side of tilde is what you want to compute on. I want to compute the average price. And the right hand side is on what basis you want to group it. So I want to group it based on cut. Further, the second argument would be your data set. In this case, diamonds. And next argument would be what you want to evaluate. I want to evaluate mean. So how we are going to read it? You take the data from the diamonds data set, break it up by cut, and for each value of cut, compute the mean of the diamond price. Let's run it. So here you get the average price for each cut of diamond. And uh, further in this command, you can add the supporting arguments to the function as well. Say, just in case if there are any, you know, uh, NAs in the data set, you can call na.rm. This is just to give you a picture how the supporting arguments work in aggregate. So we have seen the output cut wise. What if I further want both cut and color wise categorization? Say in the same command, I'm going to add cut plus color. That is, mean will be evaluated based on cut and color. So for each cut and color, we got the mean price. So in addition to what uh, we have evaluated, what if I want to evaluate the second parameter? Say I want to evaluate carrot in addition to price. So for that, in the same command, I'm going to add in addition to price, C bind, which is column bind. I'm going to add price and I want carrot. So C point uh, joins the column to create a new matrix. Let's run it. So you got the average price and average carrot for each cut and color. So functions like these makes are very simple to use and is useful while modeling. So the functionalities for aggregate can be done by D plus, group by, and summarize functions. But uh, aggregate is a fast solution. So this is all about the aggregate function. 